What's up, blockchain, Bitsgap crew? How y'all doing today? I've been, uh, <laughs> had uh, in-laws over, a bunch of music stuff going on, and so I haven't been able to uh, make the videos and be on top of things as well as I have, so you're going to get a few low production videos from me um, right off the bat. I made one big long video with, uh, I poured all my time and attention to it and came up with great stuff and um, the file got corrupted. Oh, it's a bummer. It's like a, it's like losing a fight, right? And you got, you need a couple wins after that before you fight someone of, of uh, any consequence. So <laughs> we're uh, going to go through the cash bots really quick. So what's been going on? We got, we started a thousand dollar cash bot challenge a little while ago. I'm going to put $1,000 into Bits Gap, into two Bits Gap cash bots and see what we can do, right? Because with only two bots, you're extremely limited. It makes it a lot harder. Now, if you're just trying to earn cash, it's much easier to trade crypto to crypto bots, convert all that back into cash and grab your cash that way. But what we're trying to do is only use cash bots. Now, I've noticed if you got like five or six cash bots running, the more the merrier. If you can get like 15 cash bots running all with a few hundred dollars and then let your wins way out, pace your losses, you're going to have a lot more wins, right? You're going to be able to catch all the crazy, all the crazy stuff, right? You're going to see all the different developments, you know, or, you know, you got a huge giant fishing net you're throwing out there. You're way more likely to catch the whale, right? And then the whale, who cares about all the other fish? You caught the big one. You got one single bot that earned earned you 110 percent you don't care that you have a couple other bots that lost you a few percentage right but you can't really do that with two bots you got to really focus and make sure that you're uh, that you're not losing it and i've also learned through this process that when you're doing a lot of cash bots stop losses are great but when you're doing only two cash bots stop losses can really set you back you know it's like you get you get to, i got stopped out twice when elon came through and that was my biggest downfall at this point so i had my cash bots you know i put in a thousand got them up to about what 1300 and that fell down to about 900 after the uh, whole all the stop losses and i continue to monitor those trades you know basically like what would happen if i hadn't set a stop bot and uh, had a, hadn't set, set the stop loss and both of them were back into profits so if i had just waited it out I wouldn't have lost that 20% or whatnot. So something I learned there, but you know, if you're doing a lot of cash bots, you definitely want to be using those stop losses uh, all of the time. So right now, current strategy for my bots kind of revolves around Jupiter. What we're waiting for on Jupiter is this on the 21st, this Metis launch. And so we're not that far away. It's the 17th right now. So my whole purpose at the moment is to stay in the Jupiter bot and try to get my secondary bot to earn enough cash to keep buying this Jupiter because the Jupiter is probably going to, you know, go up, go down, do all sorts of stuff. And I want to get as much as I can until the, that, you know, around that 21st, after the 21st, when the Metis launches, um, then we should be able to get out of this bot. Um, I have sent in some cash um, um, outside of the cash bot challenge in order to pick up some jupe because it just crashed and i definitely want to be in jupe because i think it's a killer project they have so much going on they're doing constant uh amas they have like dod department of defense like contracts lined up there is so much going on in this project it's crazy and they've never stopped building they never stopped doing stuff i like that a lot they just did this uh ama with overdose they had an ama before that with um Sig Woe. Um, there's they're constantly doing stuff, and I think that this Metis launch is actually going to, you know, do a lot for them. So we will find out. We'll get deeper into Jupiter. Uh, I need to do like a full, you know, overview of the entire project since I, at this point I've taken in way too much information about them. But that's my point right now is to grab up as much of that jupe as possibly can. Let's head over and take a look at the bots. So here is the jupe bot usdt we are out of range right now so we're going to need to reset that now one thing i want to say is with these cash bots say you're doing a thousand dollar cash bot challenge right i recommend if you're going to be doing off two bots that maybe you do two bots that are only uh, 400 each and you keep 200 off to the side and you use some actual you know money management skills in order to get yourself out of trouble. And why would that be important? Well, right now with our Jupe bot dropping down the way it has 
and we're out of range here, let's say it dropped down even farther, like here. You know, because you might say, you know, why hold $100 back? Why not just make a whole bunch more grids down here? And the, the reason is, if you're trading, no matter where it is, I mean, this chart is a, is a good chart because the whole thing is at all time lows. But let's say the chart was up here somewhere and you were um, doing something along, you know, like that didn't exist, right? So say we're, we're over here. We don't know where that price is going to go, right? Let's say it dropped down here or even below or to all time lows and you went out of range because you had set all of your money up ahead of time, right? You said uh, all of this was green and all that was red and you used it all. But then the price super tanked or Elon decided to, to tweet right as we're you know, hitting the end of a falling wedge and the price went way down here. And now you're so far out of range that you would have to sell a little bit of this, especially in the cash spots where you're not allowed to add extra cash. You'd have to sell some of this that you bought way up there and bring it down here into some green lines, right? But if you had money sitting over there on the side, you could get the bot re-going and also lower you know your dca price your dollar cost average price is now just you know dramatically went down because now you have that hundred dollars sitting off to the side so highly recommend that you use some money making money management techniques and uh keep yourself a little little dollars over here so what do we have we have 152 dollars sitting over there currently we're gonna have to reset this juke bot let's take a look at our other cash bot right now it's currently five percent in profit i thought i was gonna have to uh, close that out um i had had this falling excuse me this triangle drawn here not a falling wedge at all but uh and thought we were gonna pop out the bottom but we didn't pop out the bottom we popped out the top and so that tells me to stay in this bot right broke out the top so we're staying in this trade i was actually looking to get out of this and get into moonstarter because moonstarter has been performing crazy well also other coins that have dropped down severely um also trading pretty well like vid when it dropped down it popped man and for like set a bot on it as soon as it as soon as i felt like it bottomed still went down some more popped back up earned crazy percentages because it had all that pent up energy however i did the same thing on uno and i thought it was a good call doing it you know the same had a double bottom and nothing really happened just kind of stayed there and didn't do nothing just found a new floor and so that trade didn't work out so well but if you've gotten to a few of those trades at a time don't get me wrong i think uno is a killer project and the fact that they're like you know teaming up with orn and all that good stuff um like that i i'm a big bull on the uh, uno ray platform their idea the reinsurance all that good stuff i definitely want to trade those reinsurance pools i think that there's a lot of money there in the future and they have a strong future, but just getting in it to day trade it with bits gap, um, it didn't, you know, we saw a nice double bottom and it didn't really jump. So, you know, it's the whole thing, you know, you throw, you, you only make as many shots as you shoot, right? So you got to put, you know, you put 10 different poles in the water and you, uh, put a bunch of different bait on each pole and you make sure that the, uh, the game warden's nowhere around in sight, right? So we're going to have to reset this juke bot. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll look at the prom bot real quick and just see how it's performing. So that was that nice little pop up through the wedge that we are looking at. And now we're back here in range. Um, I'm gonna keep this one running, but it, we'll see what happens. If it can get some, you know, this shows some strength. So I'm hoping for a nice up, but if it just stays in range like this, I'll probably drop it before too long, unless it increases from the 1.59%. But uh, doing pretty good on each of those. Let's close this bot. Okay, so the other things that we have. So as we've closed a couple bots, I held a couple bags um, that you know belong to belong to this cash bot challenge. And those are this poll X. We have eight dollars there. I have fourteen dollars of LSS, and we're just gonna hold on to those two. And so we have that plus the $152 um, in cash right here. Sorry, go to that right there, $152. And then we have approximately $529 in the prom bot and approximately, and definitely less than that. 
uh, in the juke bot. In the juke bot, we would have five hundred and thirty-seven dollars minus three point eight five percent is the total amount that's in the bot. Let's go ahead and close that out. We've ran this juke bot a few times, and we're not gonna have to sell any of the juke bot. And you're only losing if you sell, right? Okay, so close this bot, cancel all open orders. We're gonna hold on to every single bit of juke that we have. Oh, it's ended on prom. All right, JUP. USDT down 11.69%. Good time to start a buy. Okay, so how much dupe do we have? We don't want to sell any of it, but we want to keep most of it in this trade. We have 21,207. Okay. 15,000. 17,000. We need that to say 21,000. We're looking at this number right there. 19, 20. Spread them grids out a little bit. Wow, that sure is a wide bot. 21,100 is what that comes to. 21,200. That's pretty good. We're at 1.5, 34 grids. That is a lot of grids. But we're in a good place here, and that'll be using $123 and 2,001, <laughs> that much jupe, 21,000 jupe. So that gives us quite a ways to go down. I'll be just fine with that. And that will cash us out, except for the whatever we have here, the uh, 14 and uh, not much dollars left there. So hopefully prom doesn't do anything terrible and we're gonna blow on the dice and risk this. We're not gonna leave any cash on the side and we're gonna hope for some good things and hopefully these two bots will build up enough cash that if this happens again, we will be able to get in again or else not, we're gonna be caught with our pants down and we're probably gonna notice that uh, once again, someone white coughed all over our faces and uh, it's like whale sperm, right? <laughs> Getting white cough all over myself. So here we go. Let's start this bastard. Boom. Let it form. Let it grid up. All right. I'll keep you in the know on what's going on with the cash bots, but uh, that about updates you. And uh, hope any of that was successful. Can I start several bots on the same pair? I know. 595 is what I've ended up with there. So we're only, uh, well, we're about. Uh, 130 bucks up not much <laughs> plus the little bit of we have in crypto so probably 140 dollars up but uh we're gonna rip the face off of this challenge because when this thing hits on the 21st or somewhere close to or whatever we get out of this we're gonna have so much jupe by then that we bought at you know kept dcaing in at lower and lower and lower prices that uh you know even realizing you know, we don't even have to come back to ATH in order to for me to get quite a bit. You know, if we just get somewhere back up in here, I'll have a lot of freaking jupe to sell. And on my own, I will be sending in a little crypto to, uh, it's already on its way actually, to uh, purchase some jupe over here at KuCoin because that's a hell of a great entry price in my opinion. And uh, just like I bought some vid the other day when it crashed, I bought $100 worth of vid right when I felt like it had crashed to the bottom. I'm up one single dollar, so I'm up a buck. <laughs> Love it. Anyway, appreciate you guys. Hope you all are doing well. Hope you got loads of freaking profit falling in your lap, and uh, catch you on the next one. I've got a lot more videos I'm going to be putting out uh, about some different rug pulls and all the different stuff. And if you're in my groups, I can't thank you guys enough for like bringing news to me and all that stuff. It sure helps me. I, I really, really appreciate that. Anyway. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Quick music, gonna catch you all on the flip. If you got anything out of this video, please leave me a like. Please leave me a subscribe. Say something in the comments like, hey, what's up, crypto music? How you doing? Something, anything. Appreciate you guys. I'm out.